Hi everyone, and welcome back to stories featured by Tommy DePala. My name is Trisha Yates, and I'm here with the Erie Playhouse Playtime Group. I do a live feed on Mondays on the Erie Playhouse Facebook page. And this past Monday, I did a story called The Art Lesson. It was written by Tommy DePala. And I promised that I would post some extra stories written by Tommy so that we can enjoy some of those great tales that he's given to us over the years. And today I have one special to read aloud to all of you. But first, let's start with our shiny silver bag. If you join me for the live feed, inside the silver bag is a clue that's going to help us figure out what the story is all about. Take a look at this. Do you know what this is? This is wool. This actually was sheared off a sheep. And this wool is going to be a key in our story today. Let's see what we're going to be reading. The story is called Snip, Snip, Little Lambs. Now, before we begin the story, I want to tell you something interesting about this book. Snip, Snip, Little Lambs was not the original title of the story. When it first came to print, it was called The Woolsies. That's right. Just like this wool. Where did it go? Right here. Just like this wool. When they did the second printing, they changed the title to Snip, Snip, Little Lambs. And as you can see on the front, it looks like we've got a whole family of sheep. Grandma and Dad and Mom and three little lambs. Let's begin. Winter was finally over at Fiddly Dee Farms. The snow had melted, and it was beginning to get warm outside. The Woolsey children couldn't wait to run and jump and play in the fields again. As soon as the mud dries up, said Mama. When will that be? asked Mary and Tom and Tim. Oh, it won't be long, said Papa. I think they want to get outside and play. You feel like you need to get outside and play? <laughs> well, I will tell you what, it's snowing here and it's April 15th, so I don't know who's going to be playing outside. Each day it was sunnier and a little warmer. Each day they looked for spring flowers to poke their heads up in the garden, and each day Mary and Tom and Tim made plans to build a kite to fly from the top of the hill. I think they're pretty excited about going outside, aren't they? Then one day, Papa said, The sun is shining, the mud's all gone, and now you can play outside. Hooray! shouted Mary, Tom, and Tim. I know, that's the way I used to feel when I was little about going outside. But first... It's time for spring haircuts, Papa told them. Now, all winter long, the Woolsey's fleece had grown thick and curly. It kept them nice and warm in the snow. But in spring, everybody in the Woolsey family got haircuts. I think that's where the wool comes in. Clip, clip, clip. Clip, clip, clip. Clip, clip, clip. There are three of those. Do you think that's for the three children? Oh, look at this. Spring was such a wonderful time of year. Looks like they're having fun outside, doesn't it? And look, look what they look like with their haircuts. It's all skinny. But that very night, a cold wind blew down from the North Country. I have to say, it feels a little bit like that today. Remember the cold wind? Ooh. The wind howled as it rushed around the house. Papa Woolsey made a big fire in the fireplace. 
Mama Woolsey made a fire in the kitchen stove. And Granny Woolsey piled quilts on everybody's bed. Mary and Tom and Tim shivered and huddled in front of the fire. It was so cold. Why do you think they were so cold? Oh, wait. They had that haircut. All their wool was cut off. I can imagine why they're so cold. As the fires died down, everyone went to bed. Take a look. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. But look who's still awake. Who is that? It's Grandma. She's still awake. And you know what? There are some really interesting things in the picture. Take a look at this up there. Have you ever seen one of those before? See the wheel here? That's called a spinning wheel. And take a look down here. Oh, what do you think that is? Do you think that's a basket of wool? Only this is white, so I bet it's been cleaned. And then look. These look like what they call skeins of wool. Hmm. I wonder what Grandma's doing sitting by the fire. We can't quite see, can we? a secret. Well, what a surprise, said Papa Woolsey when they woke up the next morning and looked out. Fiddle-dee-dee Farms was covered with snow. Now that is unexpected. I mean, weren't they just playing the day before in green grass? They had gotten haircuts. It was warm outside. They were getting ready to fly a kite, weren't they? It's too cold to go out today, said Mama. Well, especially with your haircuts, said Papa. Oh, no, cried the Woolsey children, just when we could play outside again. I wish we hadn't got those haircuts, said Mary. No, we can't have any fun, said Tom and Tim. Oh, yes, you can, said Granny. I've been busy all night. Do you see the clues? What was she doing? What's this? Do you know what those are? Those are knitting needles. And what does she have? In her arms. Oh, let's see. Oh, look. <laughs> They're wearing woolen coats made out of their own wool. And Mary and Tom and Tim had a grand time outside wearing their haircuts, which Granny had made into brand new sweaters. <laughs> I think that's the end. But before we stop our story time today, I want to show you a couple of interesting things. In our story, you see Mary. And Mary is holding a doll the whole time through the story. You see the doll sleeping with her. You see the doll when she's planning on going outside. You see the doll in her arms when she's getting lined up for the haircut. When she's playing out in the spring weather, there's the doll. And look, when she's tucked deep into her bed, let's see, there's the doll sitting by her bed. And, oh! Can you guess which bed hers is? There's the doll right there. And finally, at the end, you can see the doll one more time. Oop! You see her jammies there. Hmm. <gasps> right there. Now, this character is an early character that Tommy DePella actually created and drew in the art lesson that we read on our live feed. 
when Tommy is sitting at his desk at the end, this character is actually in one of the pictures. And this character's name is Charlie. And Charlie is actually a shepherd. And a shepherd is someone who takes care of sheep. And Tommy made the sheep take care of the shepherd doll. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Also, take a look at the snowman or the snow sheep that they made. Do you see this heart right here? When Tommy signs his work, he always signs it with a heart. And that's his way of saying, here's a new story for you. Love, Tommy. I hope you enjoyed today's story, Snip, Snip, Little Lambs. If you're going outside and you live in Erie, you're going to need a warm woolly sweater because there's a little bit of snow. I hope you have a nice day. Bundle up if you go outside. Stay safe. And we'll be back with another Tommy DePaula story tomorrow. Thanks for joining us.